Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at what is known as the variation of a function. Now what does variation mean? Well, if you look up in a dictionary, it pretty much means change. So we are analyzing how a graph changes. So in your notebook, please put today's subtitle, Variation of a Function. Now, what does it mean when we want to analyze how a graph is changing? Well, it means the following. It means that we want to identify which parts of the domain, and remember, the domain refers to the x values, are increasing, and which parts of the domain are decreasing. Now, before we take a closer look at what is meant by increasing and decreasing, I need to get a very weird fact out of the way. It involves a flat line. And the question is, does a flat line represent a line that is sloping upwards, in other words, increasing, or is it sloping downwards, in other words, decreasing? Well, believe it or not, a flat line is considered to be both increasing and decreasing at the same time. This is really weird because most people, when they think about a flat line, they think, oh, it's flat. It's not sloping upwards or downwards. But in fact, in mathematics, it is considered both increasing and decreasing. Now, with that being said, let's take a closer look at what increasing means. When we talk about increasing, we are looking for all the parts of a graph that slope upwards or is flat. A graph that decreases is the opposite. We're looking for all the sections of the graph that slope downwards or is flat. Now, the best way to illustrate this is through a very nice example. So please put EX. And please take a moment to get the following graph down in your notebook. Go ahead, pause the video, and get it down now. All right, so let's take a look at this graph and determine which parts are increasing and which parts are decreasing. So, I'm going to use a blue pen. And using my blue pen, I'm going to look at for all the parts of the graph that increase. So I'm looking for all the parts that either slope upwards or is flat. Don't forget, a flat line is considered increasing. So using my blue pen, it looks like this part here on the left side is sloping upwards. And then, of course, the flat line is also sloping upwards. And then after that, it starts sloping downwards. So we don't want that one yet. And then it starts sloping upwards again at the end, right here. So I've just circled the two chunks of the graph that are increasing. Now, how do we conclude that? Easy. We write the following. We can simply say that the function f of x increases. And if you want to write that symbolically, it looks like this. All we have to do is write f with an up arrow next to it. In, and let's state our intervals. So, where does it start on the x-axis to increase? All the way on the left side at x equals negative 4. So let's put that down, starting at minus 4. And then, where does that portion go up to? It goes all the way up to x equals 3. And so close it up. And then there's a chunk that goes downwards, so we don't want that chunk. But we need the last chunk. So let's put union and state the interval for the last chunk. That last chunk occurs from x equals 5 all the way to x equals 7. So those are the two parts that increase. According to our conclusion, when x is minus 4, all the way to when x is 3, it's sloping upwards. And then again, from 5 to 7. 
Now, let's take a look at the parts of the graph that decrease. Decrease meaning that it slopes downwards or is flat. Don't forget, a flat line is considered decreasing also. So, I'm going to take another colored pen. Uh, how about red? So, using my red pen, I'm going to circle the parts of the graph that are decreasing. And I think there's only one chunk. It starts all the way at the left side with the flat line. Don't forget, a flat line is also decreasing. And then the chunk over here that actually does slope downwards. And I think that's all we have. The rest of the graph slopes upwards. We don't want that. All right, let's state our conclusion. So f of x decreases. And if you want to write that symbolically, you can write it as f with a down arrow next to it in. And let's put the interval where uh, it's decreasing. So all the way on the left side, it starts decreasing when x is minus 2. So let's put that down, minus 2. And it keeps going, going, going. There are no gaps. And then it stops decreasing at x equals 5. Close up the bracket. So our conclusion tells you that between minus 2 and 5 on the x-axis, the graph is decreasing. And that's all really uh, that there is to say about increasing and decreasing. So in the end, increasing, you're looking for the parts of the graph that slope upwards or flat. And decreasing means you're looking for the parts of the graph that slope downwards or is flat.